Welcome to the video, folks. Uh, I don't normally jump on and address comments that have been directly left on my channel because, well, actually, the last time I've done that, someone actually rang my office looking for me. I'm still waiting for that call to me direct uh, rather than abusing the office staff. But hey, anyway, I digress. So the comment regarding um, the Super Trail video, Super Trail Regional Heats 2024, if you haven't watched that, I'll put a link somewhere on the screen, was what a waste of materials get a life so let's discard the get a life bit because i have a life and you know anyway but the wasting of materials uh on the face of it is a very valid and uh relevant point especially you know in in today's world when we're trying to reduce carbon footprints and climate change although i think that's a hoax but let's not digress too much but the wasting of materials, uh, we did actually have a conversation, myself and Jack Dawson, who is the uh, Brickwork Tutor at Hertfordshire College. And Super Trout and the organisers, Jack, Joe, Ash, have all made a pledge to make Super Trout more sustainable and to recycle all the materials that they use back into the industry. So Jack articulates this far more eloquently than me. So I'm going to let you listen to Jack and then I'll jump back on and wrap it up and go from there. But here's Jack. Right, I'm here with Jack at Hertfordshire College. So Jack, you're a tutor here, right? Yep. So me and Jack have just been discussing the materials uh, that are being used in Super Trail and how they're trying to be more sustainable. Uh, so Jack's going to run you through exactly what's going on here with the mortar and the bricks and how he's going to utilise this going forward once the competition is done. So over to you, Jack. Yeah, so one of our biggest pledges within Super Trail is supporting the next generation of bricklayers. One of the key things that we've teamed up with Wiener Burger and CPI Euromix is supporting that through the materials that we use on our regional heats. So, for example, the mortar that's being used here by the competitors today, it's a training mortar that's delivered from CPI. It has a lime mortar mix, it's a hydrated lime mortar mix, so it never goes off. For the purposes of today, you have to add a little bit of plasticizer to it. So it comes out of the silo, we then put it through our manual mixing machine, um, and then you will add the plasticizer to it. Once the competition finishes today, then we will be able to take these walls down, it will go back into circulation only to support the learners. So they'll have, good, obviously, the turnaround of mortar normally, lifespan is around three to six months on it. It's pretty good. How things change from when I was at college. Yep. Me. <laughs> yeah. Back I think I, Yeah, I mean. Splitting the lime. It is yep. just, it is just incredible. But it's great to see that you, you know, you're taking a, a sensible approach and conscientious approach to sustainability. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's that's great support from CPI. I and mean, it's amazing support that's, from CPI and Wiener Burger. I mean, uh, Wiener Burger are the main brick sponsor for them. You've got to be looking. This year, we're doing two regional heats. Yeah. But also, uh, Wiener Burger and CPI also sponsor other competitions. So yeah. Do the brick layers. Yeah. They sponsor many different smaller competitions at colleges. Um, and a bit of advice that I would say to any college shooter out there is just get on the phone to them. Yeah, just reach them out. Talk. Ultimately, you need the support of, you know, Marshalltown, Stabila, CPI, brick manufacturers to, to, for this industry to progress. And, and events like today are just typical of how much enthusiasm and how much this industry has grown. So, 100%. This is behind closed doors and it's still, you know, Absolutely. I mean, still a really good event. And 100%. Moving forward, we're doing two regional heats this year that you know there's a southern and the northern regional heat. Yeah. The next one's at Warrington up next week. Yeah. But then next year will be 11. So yeah. there'll be 11 regional heats all held at FE Colleges on this same model that's brilliant. to support that next generation. And, and all that's going to do is increase the candidates coming through the doors yeah. to businesses like Absolutely. ours. Yeah. Um, you know, we work very hard to encourage apprentices to come into the industry, but historically it's had a bad rap, and events like this are only going to push it on. So credit to you guys, credit to to um, Bricklayer Social Club and, and all your all your supporters is, is tremendous. You could have sold this out today. 11 regional heats next year. It's hot enough. It's hot enough. It certainly it's going to be good. Yeah, it is. It it, certainly is. It's great to see some competitors here today that were in the crowd last year. Yep. So they're Definitely. putting their money where their mouth is. So. Yeah, and you've got some guys over here in the corner that have travelled all the way from Philadelphia. I met there. Phil from and Philly. And that's crazy. That's no, just Phil from Philly and absolutely crazy. Yeah. I thought I had a long journey with two hours drive. <laughs> and Philly's, and Phil's just put me to shame, so... Yeah. No, but no, great event, Jack, and well done, mate. Lovely. And um, hopefully it continues to grow, mate, which I'm sure it will. Lovely. Thanks for coming along, Tony. No worries. Thanks for having me. Cheers. So I think Jack summed that up quite nicely. Uh, obviously, you can see the, the Super Trail pledge to, to sustainability and to put the materials back into the colleges 
And not only that, not just the materials, but their pledges to try and, you know, increase the intake into colleges and the awareness of bricklaying and competitions like Super Trail are so much more than just laying bricks over a period of time to see who's the fastest in the country. It's a bit more uh, than just that. And, and I think if you was to attend the event and see the sort of feeling around and the ethos running through the organisers and the competition itself, I think you'd get a real sense of the purpose behind it. It's not just a competition for competition's sake. It's a competition to try and bring awareness into the construction industry, increase the amount of apprentices that are applying for jobs, not just in brickwork, but in construction in general. So Joe, Ash, Jack, all doing incredibly well to drive awareness into the brickwork side of things. And all the materials which are, you know, donated by massive sponsors, CPI, Wiener Burger, you know, Stabila, Footprint, Marshalltown, loads of them are all donating gear, donating tools, materials, you know, silos. It's about £120 a tonne to fill up a silo. A silo typically holds 28 tonne. I mean, it's it's not small amounts of money. CPI and other mortar providers do this across the country and they support a lot of other competitions, not just Super Trail. So hopefully that goes a little bit just to clearing up the wastage of materials. So everything from Super Trail uh, last week will be recycled and reused. And hopefully the next generation of bricklayers will see videos like this and be encouraged to come and enter the industry and make a good life for themselves. So thank you for the comment. Not the bit about my life, but genuinely um, it triggers debate and it triggers conversation. And it's, I feel, it's an important issue to be addressed. So as you can see, Super Trail is very sustainable and they're doing their bit for the next generation of bricklayers. So that's it from me. Hopefully you found that useful. Comment below. Hopefully it'll trigger another idea. Uh, if not, peace out. I'll see you next time around.